So guys, you guys saw the clips at the beginning. I have mastered telebridging. So if you guys want to learn about telebridging, I'm going to be making a video on that right now. So <laughs> if you guys uh, do enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you always remember when I upload. So basically at the beginning, you're going to be wanting to like, like, AS, like, so you go boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now just practice this motion. You don't have to always like do anything, just to practice this motion until you fully feel like you've gotten it down. Cause you don't want to be going off to the side like, ugh. That's that's how that's how, that's not how you do it. You go like you go. You want to go stay straight, like this. So I've basically been able to master tele bridging. I don't always like get full tellies every single time, but I do most of the time. Uh, so basically, uh, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, as you guys can see. Three, p three, six, seven, six, seven. That is thirty-six thousand seven hundred and sixty-seven attempts, and four hundred and four like successful bridges that's a little amount for that much so basically it just takes a lot of time and if you really need to learn it then uh if you will not need if you really want to learn it i do recommend this video because it's going to be showing you everything and anything you need to know to learn it so basically um you can like time your jumps i i find that really hard to do like i i can't I personally can't. There's a lot of people out there that can. I personally just hold it like bedless noob. He he goes like this. He also starts really weird. He goes like that. And I personally don't recommend that. I, if you're going to do something at the beginning, I recommend I recommend going like this. Cause going like this gives you like no momentum. But when you're like this, it helps like a good amount. So you could also go like. Like, no, that doesn't make sense to me. Personally, I don't like how Bedless Noob does that. He's good at telebridging, but I, I just don't find that super easy. But, uh, so, basically, um, I've been able to do two speeds and two tellies to get to my 4.050. Um, I don't have the replay of that anymore, because I've gotten... I didn't favorite it either, which was kind of stupid of me. But, uh, it was pretty... It was pretty nice, and I really, like, enjoyed like the feeling of being able to do that it was really nice and i i personally think that if you're going to learn this getting your first telly is like wow it's like a dream come true if you like really wanted to learn like it's really it's like that i just got a full telly and uh 4.04.45 oh, 4. so that's it's pretty easy uh i did that while talking to like you could do like the like you I personally like elongate it, elongate the telly, sort of like this, so that when I am tellying, it kind of it's a long telly, but it gives you more time to, and it like just makes it quicker. But you can also go just go like that. You can just go like a quick, easy one, like five or five block telly. Uh, I don't do it very often, so I'm not super good at it. But I'm better at it when I go like this, like. It's easier when, like, I personally find this pretty easy, just, uh, this. That's pretty easy. A lot of people go like this. Go, like, kind of like they break up their direct clicks. But I personally don't find that as easy, because, like, I don't know. I just find it, like, more drag clicking and unnecessary. I think one long drag click, and you're good. So, and then you can also, like, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, but you're just gonna want to practice this motion over and over and over again, because if you go like this, that's not you don't want that. You want to be able to uh, stay in a straight line, and it's okay if you fall like I just did right then. It happens to any of us, to all of us. Um, but so basically, you want to stay in a straight line because if you don't stay in a straight line, you're going to be going off to the side, and it's going to mess up your telly bridge and possibly give you a worse time, like that, like that. That you don't want to do that. That's bad. You don't want to do that. But uh, this, uh, this, this is like one of the easier ones, I suppose. But so basically, like you guys see my keystrokes up in the top right. 
So you want to like go like this when you're telebridging. Go like that, or you can just go like this. I personally have the A on it too. Uh, I I also like just I tap it so it's easier for me. And like uh, a lot of people go like this, and that's called speed telling. And that's, yeah, that's called a speed telly. And uh, if you guys want me to make a tutorial on that in a couple of months, I'll totally do that because I haven't fully mastered it yet. But I'm sure I will in a couple of months because I just got, I just got, I got one, but it was disgusting. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically all you need to know. Uh, just keep practicing and the minimum amount of CPS you can use is 15. The max, I'd say, is 40. You don't want to go for too much cause CPS because you're going to get distracted with that. But this is basically how. And, uh, yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys next time. Peace.